Today is the day. Race day. I've been waiting four years for this moment and hopefully my dreams come true. <laughs> the IRA National Championships, the race every collegiate crew trains for all year long, where champions are crowned and records are shattered. This was the final race of my rowing career, but it wasn't just a race to me. It was the culmination of four years of work. I was representing the Stanford lightweight rowing team, and I wanted to make Stanford proud. We had legacy riding on our backs, ranked number one all season, would we claim the title or fall? Okay. In the first 500 meters of our race, our blinders are up. We don't focus on other crews or our placement, just ourselves. We need a steady and aggressive rhythm to win this, and that's what we're going to do. As we see Stanford, maybe a little bit of a slower start, um, but as we've as we've noted throughout all of these races, Stanford just such power from the, the lightweight women um, in the body of the race. Boston, though, an aggressive start. Wisconsin, an aggressive start. Uh, but favor to Boston University, who looks to be leading as we move through the first 500. Boston's ahead, but we don't worry. We've been down enough times to know how this game works. We take a move and I tell my crew, And that's it, let's right where we need to be. Walking together, the red plate's right here. We start to push ahead. Be you, good aggressiveness on the start, but look at that lane number one. If you're watching on the big screen or the drone, you've got Stanford, who after the high strokes, they've settled into their base pace. That's where you get a little bit more pop and rhythm and strength and power. Yes, a good first 500 from Stanford. Um, a, a little bit of patience. They know that they don't necessarily uh, need to be the fastest out of the gate to get their bow ahead. Uh, we'll see how things heat up in the middle thousand. But Fred, um, a nice push from Stanford looks to have put them ahead of Boston as we move through 600 or so down. It's rarely the beginning or the end of the race that wins it for you. It's the middle. Right when the adrenaline has worn off and you must rely solely on your fitness. When you feel like you're about to break, that's where you shine. You have to be stronger, grittier, and more powerful than the next crew. It's been pounded into us all year. One more inch, one more split, never give up. Stanford then leads uh, Boston by about a length. We see that these crews have gained some separation in the body of the race. I call another move. I'm thinking about this second fucking move, lights, buddy, seniors. Take it from them. No mercy together. Ready for the first 10. In two. One. Two. Let's go. Stanford trademark fitness and power coming from the Stanford lightweight women out in front there. I call one last move to end it. We crush their dreams right here, Diva. Ready for that last move. All right, our heads are in, our eyes to stand. Ready for that last move at the 14-15. In two, one. Stanford just looking so strong out ahead. Um, again, I just think it's 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 really. Uh, it's really great, a credit to Stanford uh, to know again that they don't have to be the quickest off the line and that they're gonna gain that momentum through the body of the race and really get the job done with power. As we move then into the last 250 meters, not quite yet, but nearly so, continues to be Stanford chasing that gold medal. And this brings us to the sprint. It's controlled chaos. It's where you give every ounce you had left in you. You build and go and build and go and make sure that by the time that you cross that finish line, there's nothing left inside of you. All right, lights, getting ready to empty those fucking tanks. Ready in two, build one, two left, 300, take it away, legs to the deck. Stanford then moving through the very last stretch. Yeah, Stanford just control and excellence, showing the speed of the Cardinal. 
the young women from Palo Alto. We just dropped two splits right there into rebuild up again. One, two, ready to empty. Our pace starts to increase as we build up our rate. Our boat surges forward. The crowd cheers us on, but we don't have time to take it in. I see the finish line and know that this is it. Then that real life flat brings up. Hook it in. Sharp. Here we go, it's Stanford crossing the line. Stanford has picked up their first gold of the day. Next up is the women's lightweight four. Can I please have our medalist to the stage? And finally, our gold medalist from Stanford University. Congratulations. Kate Hickey. Hillary Humphrey. Yeah. Tiffany Ong. Diva Massapur. Serena Harbour. It's hard to put into words how winning made me feel. It made me feel like the past four years of work were worth it. It made me feel like if you really try hard enough, sometimes the stars do align. A round of applause for our women's lightweight four medalists. Give it to the Cox. When we crossed the finish line first, I thought I'd pump my fist in the air in victory. But instead, I just felt immense gratitude. We did it. Together, we did it. Okay, so I have to give back this trophy that I won this weekend. So before I do that, I just wanted to say a few words. Um, having this trophy and winning it is surreal. When I crossed the finish line this weekend, I was so overcome with emotion. I started crying and I've never cried after a race. It really means a lot to me because I'm a senior and that was my final race that I'll ever cox in. This is a trophy that I've been wanting for Four years. It's been four years in the making and I've been dreaming about this trophy so to have it finally come true really means a lot because there's so many times that I thought I'd quit the team and just not continue. There's so many mornings I'm like I just don't want to do this and to finally have physical evidence of victory is it really means a lot to me and I'm so thankful that I had the opportunity to be on this team. So thankful that I had the opportunity to learn something new and get good at it. Um, and so, yeah, I have to give it back, and I'm sad, but so proud. Can't believe it. This is crazy. This is so crazy. Okay, that's enough. Four years. Uh, very hard work this year, very tough racing, we're all very, very proud of you, um, and uh, before we send our seniors off into the world and into their finals, um, we like to give some gifts away. Um, okay, so... At the end of the year banquet, we celebrated and said our goodbyes, and just like that, it was over. Four years of being a Stanford student athlete had come to an end. It's hard to summarize four years of rowing into one video, but I'm going to try. I joined the rowing team as a starry-eyed 18-year-old. To this day, I don't know what compelled me to join. Maybe it was the appeal of being a student athlete. Maybe it was the chance at being a national champion. Maybe it was out of pure curiosity. Rowing was never easy. I got angry when I didn't make boats I thought I deserved. I sometimes felt like the coach's punching bag. I often thought I was doing everything I could while getting nowhere. I almost quit so many times. But I learned to fail. I learned to not get my way. And I learned to never quit. And that's the true spirit of an athlete. It's not about how many times you get knocked down. It's about how many times you decide to pick yourself up and try again. And I did that every day. So thank you, Rowing, for teaching me to be tough. I'll never forget the lessons you've taught me. 
But for now, it's on to the next challenge. Gonna focus on hanging through the mid drive. Push! 145. Push! Good. Five more strokes at 144. Hang through it here. Hang 142. Last three. Two. One. Lengthen out. Sun protection is always necessary. So that's good. Okay, we'll take another ratio in two. Have a finish. One. And two, and one. Hands away with stern care. Claire, one stroke. I think we can point to professionalism. <laughs> Wasn't the prettiest thing ever, but it was yeah. hella aggressive. It was so aggressive. Guys, that, we've speared, speared Cal. <laughs> speared him. <laughs> we got him.